Hey, how are you today? Subscribe and hit the like button. Also, let us know in the comments what matches you're gonna watch today. Meanwhile, we are getting started. Schalke continue their winless streak away to 35 matches, which matches the worst ever run in the Bundesliga. Manuel Neuer is still the best goalkeeper in the world, Julian Nagelsmann said. The reasons given for boycotting the World Cup do not add up. There is a lot of hypocrisy. There are some people who don't accept that a small country in the Middle East is hosting such a global event. Qatar's Foreign Affairs Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani, has reacted to protests against the World Cup ahead of the start of the tournament. Cameroon may be excluded from the upcoming World Cup due to a dispute with their former equipment supplier, Lee Cox Sport Fit, which was providing them with the sport kits in the qualification rounds. Arsenal plan to make a 60 million euros bid to Shakhtar Donetsk for Mikhail Mudrik, according to Mirko Di Natale. English left back Ben Chilwell will miss the 2022 World Cup after suffering a hamstring injury. Bayern Munich fans displayed a banner against the World Cup in Qatar, saying 15,000 deaths for 5,760 minutes of football. RB Leipzig are unbeaten in their last 11 games. They have 9 victories and 2 draws. Leipzig might sell Benjamin Chashko to Manchester United for at least 45 million euros. They signed the 19-year-old Slovenian for 24 million euros this summer and kept him on loan at RB Salzburg. Alfonso Davies left Bayern's game against Hertha Berlin due to a hip injury. The Super League will not be an exclusive or closed competition. There will be no permanent members, the general director of the Super League stated. The Arya Sport reports that Athletic have no intention to sell Inigo Martinez to Barcelona in the January window. Eric Chupomoting scored in his seventh game in a row for Bayern Munich. He has 13 goal contributions in 14 games this season. We defend with all 11 players, starting with Ronaldo up front. That's why we are hard to beat as a team, Man United boss Eric Ten Hag admitted. There was a moment with Cristiano Ronaldo when I was worried, when it was reported that he is unable to train with a team. That would be very difficult if he trained individually, but it's all fine now, Portugal national team head coach Fernando Santos said. Yusufa Mokoko has become the youngest player in the Bundesliga history to score 10 goals at the age of 17 years and 350 days. Piatek scored the fastest goal in the history of Salernitana in Serie A. It took him just 2 minutes and 32 seconds after the kickoff. Regarding Lukaku's injury, we expect him to return on a pitch next year, Inter head coach Simone Inzaghi said. In the Spanish Super Cup, which will take place in Saudi Arabia in early January, Real Madrid will be up against Valencia and Barcelona will face Real Betis. Manuel Neuer has recovered from a shoulder injury to return to Bayern starting 11. I was working with an opera singer. Shouting is important to better lead the defense. Dayo Pamecano has given some exclusive tips. Everton are interested in Inter Milan fullback Robin Gossens, writes FC Inter News. Wolverhampton have officially announced the appointment of Julian Lopategui as the club's new head coach. The contract period is yet to be known. I told Holland, please no more goals, otherwise newspapers won't talk about me, Guardiola said in his recent pre-match interview. I would like to play for as long as possible, but when that day comes, I would like it to be as beautiful as it was today with Piquet. I didn't know he was gonna announce his retirement, Jordi Alba admitted. Very sad night this was, as we were witnessing Pique's farewell. He was an important player for us. He leaves a huge emptiness in the club, but we have to congratulate him on a great career," Barca centre-back Andreas Christensen said. Basque striker Iñaki Williams has made his 246th consecutive appearance for Athletic Bilbao and thus matched a 28-year-old record. Brantford striker Ivan Toni has been the subject of an investigation over gambling allegations when he was playing in the lower divisions. My team already got used to difficulties. We behave calmly and play football that everyone expects from us," Napoli boss Luciano Spalletti said after the victory over Atalanta. I would be lying if I said the World Cup is not on my mind, Leicester City star James Madison admitted. This is definitely a very exciting game, also because Arsenal are doing well at the moment, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang told Chelsea's website ahead of his showdown with the Gunners. 
According to the reputable Mario Cartagena, Real Madrid are close to reaching an extension agreement with Marco Asensio after the difficult situation this summer. In an interview with TNT Sports Brazil, Manchester United's midfielder Fred revealed that Casemiro's departure from Real Madrid was not a spontaneous move. I found out long before both clubs announced it. We talked a few months prior. We had a good conversation. Casemiro asked me about how I was doing here, and I explained everything to him. Fred said, as quoted by the Are You Us. Liverpool midfielder Nabi Keita was absent from the team's training, as rumors suggest he got injured again. A phobe has something, it's the ability to put the ball in the back of the net, and he's gonna be doing that until the day that he decides he's had enough of football. Arsenal head coach Mikel Arteta said. This Saturday provided us with tons of world-class football. Here you have all the results. Now we are gonna talk about the top news. Let's briefly recap the match day. We begin with the Premier League. In the match of the day, Manchester City defeated Fulham in a late drama show, 2-1. Erling Haaland scored from a spot in the 95th minute and brought three points to nearly exhausted, down to 10 Man City. Another Man City goal came from Alvarez. Moving on to La Liga, where Barcelona played against Almeria at Camp Nou, the Catalans had a confident 2-0 victory with Dembele and Frankie at the fore. Serie A had two fascinating games yesterday. Milan defeated stubborn Spezia 2-1, and interesting to note that Daniel Maldini, whose contract belongs to the Rossoneri, was the man who scored for the visitors. Teo and Giroud are on the score sheet for Milan. In the match of the day in Italy, Napoli kept their feet on the gas pedal after defeating Atalanta away 2-1. Lukman opened the score for the goddess, but Osman and Elmas quickly responded already in the first half. Bundesliga had no sensations this time. Dortmund, Bayern, and Leipzig all got three points on Saturday. Borussia Dortmund destroyed Bochum 3-0. Mukoko scored twice and another goal from Reina. Bayern had a tough test against Hertha Berlin 3-2. Musiala's goal and Chupa Mating's brace led the Munich team to victory. The Bulls, for their part, achieved the victory over Hoffenheim 3-1, and Kukun netted two goals and almost scored another. Manchester City striker Erling Haaland scored a penalty in stoppage time of the match against Fulham, bringing his team a dramatic victory 2-1. The 22-year-old Norwegian scored his 18th goal in the current Premier League season, which matches his father Alf Haaland, who played 181 games in the English top division. As of October, Erling equaled the results of Manchester United striker Cristiano Ronaldo last season, but it took 30 matches for the 37-year-old Portuguese. Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic appears in Manchester United's transfer shortlist. According to the Telegraph, the Red Devils are interested in signing the 22-year-old Serb, as the club is looking for a new striker, making a list of possible candidates. Manchester United are closely watching Vlahovic's performance in touring because there is a possibility that Juve may start losing their key players if the team doesn't improve their results and fails to qualify for the Champions League next season. Barcelona will try to sign Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva this winter. The Catalans now have such an opportunity after Pique's decision to end his career, as he refused to get a 30 million euros offset. Silva was already close to Barca move this summer, but the transfer collapsed because the Blaugranas were unable to sell Frank de Jong. In case Liverpool board decides to sack their head coach, Jurgen Klopp, Thomas Tuchel may become his successor at Anfield. El Nacional reports. Tuchel is still without a job, having previously rejected offers from Aston Villa and Bayer Leverkusen. The source also adds that some European clubs have begun to monitor club situation. For example, Barcelona has been exploring the candidacy of the German specialist for a long time, and the president of the Blaugranas, Joan Laporta, is allegedly ready to invite Jürgen to camp now. Lionel Messi is a seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, four-time Champions League winner, and ten-time La Liga champion. For the 35-year-old himself, however, nothing comes close to winning Copa America with Argentina in 2021, the first in 28 years for the country and the first for him ever. In one interview, he was shown the scenes of his own celebration of the trophy with Argentine fans, and things got emotional. Wow, I think this was the most beautiful thing that happened to me in my sports career, Messi said as he relived the moment. 
Gerard Piquet played his last match for Barcelona at Camp Nou. His farewell to the fans was very emotional. The 35-year-old Spaniard couldn't hold back tears. When you become an adult in life, you understand that sometimes loving means letting go. I'm sure that in the future I will be here again. I love Barcelona. That's why I think this is the right time to end my career. This is not goodbye. I was born here. I will die here," Pika said. It was a very beautiful farewell. The fans chanted Pika's name and everyone was grateful to the legend for his remarkable journey in the Blaugranas jersey. Dear friends, make sure to check out Inside Football talking about all the reasons for Gerard Pika's retirement. Highly recommend watching this. And it was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.